Hey there, welcome to the AlaskaFlyFishingGoods.com online fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to tie the hairball leech, salmon killer extraordinaire. Great pattern developed by John Rupp in the 90s. We're starting out with our hook and the vise here. We'll start our thread on close to the eye. Put that little tag in. Wrap back to the eye. Take a dot of liquid thread. That would be super glue here. Zap a gap. Put it right there close to the uh, hook eye. Then we're going to mount our eyes really tight to that hook eye here. Start out with a couple straight wraps, do a couple bottom wraps, and then do a couple figure eights. And that's looking good. Now we're going to wrap all the way back here and start of the bend. Actually, we're going to stop just shy. We're going to stop about an eighth inch shy right there. Then we're going to take crystal flash here about two and a half inches, three inches worth of crystal flash. And we're going to fold it around the thread. Super guide trick number 245. Never again will you cast off all of your material when you whack your fly into a rock or something. So we're going to put uh, two sides of crystal flash on this thing. Same thing here. We're going to fold it around the thread. Pull it up. The idea here is that we're going to leave a bare spot on top. You can barely see it, but it's right there. Next, we're going to tie in a little bit of cactus chenille. We're going to kind of tie that off to the side a little bit here. And then we're going to tie in a rabbit tail. You want to leave about, a, about an inch of leather hanging over. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide the hair about an inch down about an inch of leather sticking out and we're going to take a little super glue put it right there on the uh, thread line and then we're going to set our rabbit right there on that dividing line just like so and then we're going to kind of wrap through the hair two or three times here try to pull all the hair out of there and then we're going to cross out of the rabbit wrap all the way back up to the eyes. Now for the semi-difficult part that isn't really difficult, what we're going to do here is we're going to palmer both the rabbit and the cactus chenille forward and we're going to try to fit the cactus chenille into the gap created where the two rabbit strips overlap as you're wrapping them around. Sounds tough, it's actually pretty easy. We're going to make them both tight here and then you're just going to kind of pull the estad or pull the uh, cactus chenille right in front of the rabbit as it goes down. Pull it right in front of the strip that just went down as the other strip goes down. What this does here is it makes for a really proud rabbit body. It sticks it up and it also kind of makes it, I like to use the term hollow with the body because it makes it stick out and gives it a definite more umbrella shape. So we're going to get anywhere from three to five wraps off before we're going to come up here to the eye of the hook. And just before you get there, right about here, there's going to be a last wrap in here. You want to clear your hair, and then you want to put a dot of super glue right up in there, and then you're going to sort of end up right there. Right in tight on the eye, see how snug that is there. Then you're going to take a wrap or two, maybe even three, and then you're going to cut off this excess here. Maybe a couple more wraps to stick that down a little bit. See now you got that Estaz in there making everything all, they call it shelling, making it nice and nice and proud on that rabbit. So back to the head here, we're going to take a slop and feather I've prepped, and we're going to tie it in with the tip facing forward here. And I'm going to take two or three wraps, and then I'm going to fold that tip back over, and then pop it off. And we're going to take three or four wraps here, being careful to stroke the fibers of the slopping in a rearwards direction, away from that hook eye. Yeah, we'll take one more turn on this. I think we're right at the end of the feather. Pull the quills out of the way here. And then we're going to trap that quill down with the thread with about three wraps. 
We'll clip that off. Make a couple security wraps and we'll switch forward to the eye. And we'll take our whip finish tool. A five whip. And then a little snip and a clip. Call it good. That's how you tie a hairball leech.